Welcome back, everyone, to another Zero K Exhibition match. This time we have the warning once again, but against Magman, who is going for tanks while the warning. What is the warning going for? Hovercraft. I Interesting choice. Hovercraft on Titan Duel. Not something I've seen in a very long time. Titan Duel has basically been just... Well, actually, been very, very bot-heavy recently, but... When not bots has been, you know, tank versus rover kind of thing. And even in that matchup, tanks are... Oh, I see. Right, because the tank versus rover matchup, it's... I think statistically it's even, or very nearly. I'd have to double-check the current stats. But in terms of how people feel about it, no, tank versus rover is not even. Tank versus rover, tank feels better. With the way Kodachi's running around, it just... Yeah, I think people f prefer playing the tank side. And I can say personally, I tend to play the rover side, and yeah, it is a tough matchup for rovers. So that would explain maybe why the hovercraft are being used instead. But I don't know for sure. Magman just might like hovercraft. Oh, sorry, the warning might just like hovercraft. I mean, they're going full dagger against tanks, for one thing. Which is not the best idea. You really need to have a large number of daggers. Essentially, enough daggers to one-shot whatever units you're fighting. Which, in this case, is seven. Because Kodachi's have 670 HP. So, you need seven daggers. They deal 100 damage each, or a little, little over that, I think. But, basically 100. No, exactly 100. They deal 100 damage each. They can one-shot Kodachis if there are seven of them at a time. They can one-shot welders if there's 18 of them at a time. Yeah, against tanks, I don't, I don't see it. Bolas, I could see. And we are, in fact, getting bolas. All right, that makes a lot more sense. But daggers, not so much. I mean, that's the thing you got to remember when you're fighting tanks, too, is that, yeah, bolas cost 190, but Kodachis cost 180. And holy crap, is that efficient! I mean, the slow alone is just... Yeah, I mean, granted, there was a lot of... those the command and everything else, but the slow alone just put the Kodachis in... It, they put them in a checkmate situation. There was no way out of that. The Kodachis can't move, and their entire strength is movement. I'm glad the warning hit upon the use of bolas, because that is... That is what I was expecting to see from the Hovercraft Factory in the first place. And the warning, I'm guessing, only has radar coverage from the commander. No, they have, radar, they have static radar. Okay. And there's the bolas doing their job. Unfortunately, the fire is not ideal. One of these bolas just survived. Never mind. Okay. Good show. But yeah, I mean, the bolas aren't the most cost-efficient, but in large numbers of bolas versus large numbers of Kodachis, the bolas clearly are gonna win out. Blitz coming in. This is gonna be a little bit harder to deal with, though, again, that's a unit where speed is the main asset. Bolas would deal with that, but unfortunately, this bolas is not getting healed. Fortunately, it's also not getting shot at, so that worked. 21 HP bolus, just killing stuff. Okay. Seriously, though, that bolus should be repaired. And I like the fact that Warning's going for this. We're going to see Magman switch off, though. They're probably going to go for Minotaur. Or no, not Minotaur. Going for Ogre. That'd be the counter. Ogres don't care about speed. They do care about large clumps of light units. They like them. It's easy kills. With that, though, the warning... Confident enough they can go for an assault magman at the same time, coming around the side, and magman, I don't know. Do they see what's happening? Oh, yeah, they do. They absolutely do. They know exactly where the bullets are going. Magman, unfortunately not really well prepared for this. The daggers, the Kodachis are out of position. The bullets 
Should be able to just wipe everything out here. The Kodachis that are in the base are not going to last too long. Welders, however, are going to be able to survive no problem. Bullas, again, their advantage, their, their strength is taking out speedy units, but welders don't care about speed. Like, whoop de doo the welders get slowed down. It doesn't really matter, unfortunately. Not the best base assault force. But not a bad metal donation tool. 700 metal donated directly into Magman's pockets. They are not going to complain, that's for sure. That being said, the warning actually was expanding behind that, so it's not like it was a waste. Like, the warning was able to take out... I, I, I joke, really, but the warning was able to stop a Kodachi raid on their own base. Able to expand from that. The bullets are coming in once again, unfortunately not well grouped up, and the warning kind of realizing this, retreating, regrouping with the remaining bullets. But at the same time, they've been expanding around the map. And so far, 30 to 20 metal ratio, which considering the micro, the likely micro gap in the yellow, in the yellow difference between the two players, or WHR difference between the two players, Magman at 20 metal per second and warning at 30 metal per second is probably close to even. But I'm not totally sure. I mean, Magman's definitely got way more experience, just unless the warning is using a smurf account. Magman is the far more experienced player. But like I said, I like the fact that warning is going for this bullet strat, and I am kind of surprised we aren't seeing ogres. I really am surprised we aren't seeing ogres from Magman. I might be missing something. If I am, that makes sense. But just back to the envelope calculations. Back to the envelope calculation, there should be a really good argument for using ogres to take out all these bullets. Kodachi coming around the side. The raid, this time being successful. And the bullets a little bit late on the defense. The warning, unfortunately, as a result, running out of more energy than metal. No, they don't have frontline energy structures. They're just not building enough energy. Granted, neither is Magman, and Magman also, because they were attacking, the warning takes that as cue to just rush in themselves. As long as they avoid the welders, they should be fine. And actually, oh my goodness. Yeah, that's not good. Not for Magman, anyway. Warning, that factory is dead. I'd move the units out of the way, though. They're all going to die to the fact. Oh, I'm not commander, never mind. Still move them out of the way. It's not ideal. But wow, the bulls just don't care. They really don't care. One welder, two welders down. The bulls are starting to fall, but it's not really mattering. The remaining welders simply don't have line of sight to the bulluses. The bulls. Hard to pluralize that. It's plural by default, but whatever. Like moose. The warning, I think they've just taken this game. Magnet still has room to rebuild, but these bolas, like they wiped out all of the welders. And I mean all of them. There's there's no welders left. Oh, okay, there are well some welders left. All but all but three. And the factory, and most of the economic infrastructure. Magnet's commander is still alive, and I'm expecting we're gonna see a rebuild factory. There it is, yeah. Rebuilding proxy tank factory, but a half or a dozen, or very nearly a dozen bulls is coming in over there. The warning just taking advantage of that economic advantage they gained early on from that first suicide raid. Allowing them to open up Magman. And honestly, I am still surprised Magman hasn't gone for ogres. Like, bulls are raiders. They're beefy raiders, but they are raiders. The Stardust is actually going to be quite useful here for getting rid of them, but it's just not enough. Not in time. Not with that many, anyway. 220 and that. Yeah, that should counter three or four. But not all that many. Warning takes it. Did, in fact, redeem themselves. Look, Metal used the warning was... Yeah, on par to a head of Magman. Metal income. The warning stayed on par. Got ahead quite a, quite often. Overdrive Magman was... Key, Overdrive was keeping Magman relatively even for the most part with warning. But... Yeah, warning just... Used their metal... Like, they were on par. While maintaining a better army. While maintaining the attrition. Just... Except for that suicide run of Bolas's... Or Bolas. 
about like the three four minute mark that game was the warning perfectly countering the use of kodachis and magman just running more kodachis into it again an ogre or two would have been perfect and yeah i know the stardust would be useful but again stardust is 220 the formula is roughly that static defenses should be two and a half times as effective as the equivalent mobile cost so it should be able to take out around 800 metal worth of raiders like easily which is four bullets and yeah four bullets probably would be destroyed by a stardust i'd have to double check i mean what we saw there was about 12 bullets so it didn't really matter but yeah i mean stardust was still wrecking their shit it was really destroying them it was just that it wasn't destroying them quickly enough when there's 12 of them with reinforcements but if there were four of them it'd probably be fine Yeah, and you're all pointing in the chat that assumed that Magma was giving up when the Welder Blob was just staying in place. And it's like, yeah, I don't know what was going on with that. But then they lost their factory. They were on the ropes at that point. I mean, the fact that the Bolas got into Magman's base pretty well unopposed. That was huge. While at the same time, the Warning was able to defend against the Kodachis, again, using Bolas. Because again, there wasn't anything built to counter the Bolas. The Kodachis simply don't have the firepower and their speed advantage is completely nullified. So yeah, good thinking by the warning to go for Hovercraft for the Bolas. Not sure why they started with daggers, but I guess as a scouting force, just cheap stuff, just in case. Actually, no, that makes a lot of sense. No, I do know why they went for the daggers early on, and I'm glad that that was just for scouting purposes. They had a plan, they executed it, and yeah, they, they beat Magman. Well done. So, last match for today is going to be a big one and by big one i mean a lobster pot so yeah this is by request because i only do lobster pots by request but it's also showing off one of the brand new maps because there are a bunch of brand new maps eight brand new maps that have been added to the matchmaker rotation a couple of them are just reskins of existing maps but this one is brand new. It's called Prestige, and it's this cool arena thing. I don't... I think for a lobster pot, it's going to be an absolute mess, although apparently this... It's a long game. 13v14. Okay, this is going to be an absolute mess. Well, anyway, lobster pot coming up. That's, that's what's going to happen, so stay tuned. <laughs> 